I'm Franklin, and this is a look at the month of November for Pisces. Your best days in November are going to be the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd. This is when the moon will be in Pisces, and you will be in high tide. When the moon sign for your ruling planets, Jupiter and Neptune, when they pass through Pisces, we can all access our intuition and emotions and connect with the unseen world of spirit guides and feel that we are combining our will with divine will. Now here's a look at November for the water sign Pisces and we'll begin with Pisces in love. The big influences this week will come from the moon, the Sun, and Venus. Anything you can imagine can be brought into existence with the exception of the love of another soul. So always treasure that love when you get it. In week number two, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Pluto, you're going to be asked to take a message from one partner to the other. So it's important that you not put any personal spin on that message. In week number three, the influence is Jupiter, a double shot of Saturn, and Uranus. Things happened so fast this week that it seems that everything was preconceived as a series of small steps leading you to a relationship. And in week number four, we'll be under Jupiter, Neptune, Mars, and Venus. A relationship expands when two souls understand that they have both seen the very same dream. Now here's a look at the month of November in your career. In the first week of the month, what you have been kept in the dark about is finally revealed by someone who wants to help you by being your mentor. In week number two, you're given a message to deliver. And you're being tested here to see if you make any big changes in uh, that message. Week number three has one door closing and another opening. And this leads to a new job that better fits your requirements. And in week number four, you have an opportunity here to expand on what you do and the influence that you have by taking care of those around. Now, here's a look at November in your finances. The first week of the month, what began as a vision or just a fantasy can now be brought into reality by accepting the help of other people and using everyone's ideas to come. Week number two, you must deal with two souls who are complete opposites and make them understand that the time is right for them to take actions that will result in change. In week number three, good fortune has good timing, and good fortune always shows up when it is least expected, and also when it's needed the most. In week number four, partnerships expand this week. Everyone needs to have their own job, so don't you try to do it all by yourself. Let everybody feel necessary and you can optimize the success of the group. So that's a look at the days in November, according to your sun sign. Now, here's a look at the nights in November, according to your moon sign. In week number one, the week of the last quarter moon, the moon rises in Leo. So the dreams and the fantasies that come this week are about impatience, acting on impulse, and then having you live with the rewards or consequences of it. Week number two is the week of the new moon. This rises in Scorpio, and the fixed water sign always concerns regeneration of the past. You're going to morph into something completely different again, and imagine your own future. In week number three, the week of the first quarter of the this moon rises in Aquarius. The dreams, the visions that come to you this week concern you trying to do two things at the same time. This would be trying to deal with previous life karma while dealing with today's instant karma. In week number four, the week of the full moon, 
and moon rises in Gemini. The dreams and the fantasies that come this week tell you to think outside the box and know that your options are unlimited. And that's a look at November for the Water Sign Pisces. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.